Well, hello there, beautiful people. Man, oh man, oh man. So, this month, November, new, 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 new November, new November, new, new. We about to be Christmas. Sorry, bro, bro, bro. You pre out this V? Yeah, 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 yo. This came out two months ago. This album just up. See what I'm talking about? I'm just. Anyways, this month. I have a buttload of things for you. This month is all about food. Therefore, we're gonna be diving into the what? Food. Thanksgiving must be. That's beside it. Yes, I got a nice fur shirt on. Gang stuff. Um, on some real stuff though. We are actually getting into some deep stuff. Some, some real shit. So I'm going to be talking about some more conspiracy theories. This is a part two video, and clearly this is part one. The food industry. Because we're talking about food. And I'm going to read you the five topics for both parts. Basically, this part is just for us to be talking, you know, talking about the stuff, reactions, etc. And then the next part, we're going to be experimenting with all of those things. For example, number one, we're going to talk about the pH balance and the unnecessary chemicals in our waters and why, which ones are good, which ones are not. We're gonna be talking about Chuck E. Cheese pizza and update, cause I remember you remember remember how the Chuck E. Cheese pizza was, you know. I want to see if they're still on the BS. We're gonna be talking about fruits and vegetables. Um, a lot of things with the tags on them. A lot are hybrids, or a lot of, AKA genetically modified, no nutritional value. And then we have the ones that are actually real. And I'm gonna be talking about those, experience with those as well. McDonald's. <laughs> I didn't even get into that. And the snack industry. Um, it's a part of the food industry, of course, meaning that why we always want to go back for more right they put something in these snacks in the foods that make us want to grab another chip another cheese it another this and that so we're going to dive deep into all of these things today we're going to dive into the talking into the reactions and things today i'm going to show you guys some videos and then like i said next video we're going to be sitting here actually going out there and, and exploring so yeah see let's get to it First thing we're gonna be talking about is the waters. I don't think they're out to kill us. I just think they're out to make us a lower vibration uh, as this world is already. Cause we are at one of the most lowest vibrations we can be at. And then now the metaverse is coming in, but that's another conversation for another day. Now, we gonna talk about Dasani first. And I know that you guys heard about the Dasani conspiracy theory. I know Shane Dawson popped off with the Dasani conspiracy theory, but to re-elaborate on it, one, let's talk about how Coca-Cola makes it. Coca-Cola is dangerous. Because Coca-Cola is a big-ass company, and when you're a big-ass company, you're within all the other big-ass companies, and all of those companies work together as a whole, right? So you realize when you go to stadiums, the doctors, like like uh, football, basketball stadiums, uh, the doctors, theme parks like Six Flags, they all have Dasani water. There's no, uh, there's, no, I've never seen a pollen spray. <laughs> you don't see any, you don't see anything else, no alkaline, but the sunny water. And in that same machine that you always see it in. And them shit is like $5 each. <laughs> so from what I've heard, I know there are specific ingredients in there. I think four specific ones. And one of them has to do with salt. So there's three ingredients that make it the absolute worst water bottle ever. What are the three ingredients? Okay, so one, there's salt. Oh my gosh, there is salt in here. It makes you more thirsty. Oh my gosh, that makes a lot of sense. And the second one is actually called magnesium sulfate. So have you ever noticed when you're drinking Dasani, like your mouth gets drier and drier every time? Yeah, actually kind of, yeah. So magnesium sulfate is actually a drying agent. So it makes your mouth dry on purpose. Like, are you serious? Yeah, and then the last one, potassium chloride. This is where they get you bad. Have you heard of death row? Yeah, I know death rows. Yeah, so on death row, they inject you with three different injections. And the last one they inject in you is potassium chloride. Stop it. Potassium chloride actually causes cardiac arrest. And it makes the st heart stop working. Are you serious? Yeah, and we're drinking it <laughs> in the sunny water. Oh my gosh, they are trying to kill us. In the bottle, it says they add it for taste. And everybody wondering what the taste of death is. You now know what it yeah. is. Everybody wondering what the taste of death is. Everybody wondering what the taste of death is. Now, salt makes you more thirsty. We're actually going to be experimenting with all these things in the next video, because like I said, this is part one. So we're going to be talking about all this stuff, and then we're going to experiment in the next one. So stay tuned for the next one. Respectfully, I swear to you, I'm not even saying this, because it's confirmation bias and everybody's saying this. Respectfully, I never like this. 
I thought Dasani was the most dirt water you could. It just didn't taste right. It didn't. It didn't taste like water to me. I'm gonna come out and say it. As a kid, I've never liked Dasani. It always tastes like chemicals and plastic. And I was like, uh-uh. I never liked it ever. I, I tried to stay away from it. That's why I was like, you know, I'm gonna get a soda instead. Like I'd rather get a soda than get a Dasani. I don't even drink soda. Not even that. There's so many other waters now. Essentia water. The ingredients on Essentia water. Cause that's the biggest thing. Why are there ingredients on our water? I don't see no ingredients on this. Some wrong with nope. I don't see no ingredients on this for no taste, nothing. Nothing. And Sensia, one of the ingredients is sodium bicarbonate. And sodium bicarbonate is the 100% active ingredient in baking soda, baking powder. Why baking powder, baking soda? I don't know the biggest difference, but why the hell is there baking soda in my water? For taste? No! Oh, so many reasons. And then it's not, and it's like, think about it. When you put baking soda in vinegar, it reacts. So I'm assuming they also put something in there within those ingredients for it actually to react right within that water, not knowing what, but there's just so many things. Like you said, the, the bubbles, right? When you open the Dasani, the fizz. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, I used to see all of it. Like, why am I opening my water and it's, not, and it's opening like soda? I bet you if you shake that bitch and you open it, it'll explode. Let me not even get into the pH balance about the damn water itself. Into here. Okay, so shake it up. What color is that? That looks like, that's like a five. So that's actually, that's in these very acidic. But like I said, all I'm doing is talking about it. We ain't gonna get too much into it. But water is, you have to be careful because the, all these waters are just dangerous. It actually says it's a plant bottle. I assure you there is nothing a plant about this. One I say for sure is we talking alkaline water. That's where you're supposed to go. That's it. Kangen water. It's like you it's a machine where you can hook up to like your your um your pipes and it's like four racks though, it's expensive. But that's the best water and it's completely alkaline and that's what you want to drink. Anything alkaline. Same with diet. Anything alkaline alkaline is the way to go. Doctor Sebi approved. Gangsta, another conversation. But yeah. I also wanted to talk about the Chucky, another Chuck E. Cheese update. Y'all remember, cause I'm about to go there on Saturday so I can show y'all just an update to see if they still recycle their pizza. Now for people that don't know about the conspiracy theory, basically, Chuck E. Cheese, their pizza is recycled. Say a table got a fresh new pizza, they ain't finished it. So they take that off, they take the slices that they see that they didn't pick from. They put it on a new pizza. So they take all the pizzas from the tables and they put them as one. You telling me all these people need crusty ass hands on what these little ass kids that just been running around with feet and 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 they wash their hands and eat and then you gonna tell me you gonna give it to me? And then you got you even got I'll even play a clip of of the workers themselves even saying that they've seen this occur. There was like two slices left and one pan, another like four or whatever in the other pan. And he sits down in the other chair and the other table and I see this fucking guy he's taking the pizza from one pan and putting it onto the other pan i shit like i literally shit right there and i was like damn this is gonna be the fucking best video ever because this is gonna be fucking crazy but i pulled out the phone from my underwear and i'm about to you know start recording and as soon as i was about to record peter walked in the manager he walked in he saw me with my phone out you're not supposed to have your phone at chuck e cheese okay and i found out why people had to sign an nda and not have their phone it's because to hide the fact that they they fucking recycled their pizzas. So Peter found me, he took me into his office, and I have a video of him firing me. I'm gonna play that right now. I told you yesterday when I hired you not to bring your phone. So why'd you do it? Because I just wanted to show some of my friends, you know, how you guys make the pizzas. No, you can't do that here. You signed an NDA form, you remember that? That clearly says you can't bring your phone. I just didn't think it was such a big deal. It is a big deal. Listen, at this Chuck E. Cheese, we would process our pizzas to make profit, to make money, okay? That's what we do here. Mm -hmm. And you coming here and interfering with that. I don't need that. So that's two things, like I said, the water. Cause the main, the main, the main thing is just going over conspiracy theories about the food industry itself. Going over specific fast food restaurants. Uh, speaking of fast food restaurants, let's go to McDonald's. Good sandwich. No, it's more than that. It's the crispy chicken sandwich. I haven't had McDonald's for three years. Nothing, 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 nothing. The last time I had McDonald's, I had three packs of cookies and I thought it was a hurl, hurl. 
So McDonald's. Siri, what is the population of the UK? As of 2020, the population of United Kingdom was 67 million eight. 67 million. 70 million people eat McDonald's every single day. Isn't that just, like, when I heard that, that's more than the UK's population. Do y'all understand? And this is a day. This ain't in the year. This is a day. That's how poppin' McDonald's is. But McDonald's is probably the worst fast food restaurant you can eat. Mind you, by the way, I ain't exposing nobody. This is a conspiracy theory. I used to eat McDonald's fries. Because there was a point in time where I started to fade away from the meat itself. Because I used to like McDoubles and McChickens. I ain't gonna lie. That shit used to bust. McDonald's bust. It bust. I ain't gonna lie. But I started fading away from the meat. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna start getting fries. Because I started to become through my, you know, my spiritual awakening and things. I was, uh, I was on a, to high my vibration. I was like, nah, I'm gonna get fries. The fries used to fuck up my stomach the most. The most. And I used to sit here and be like, why? And it was for so many reasons. And it was just like. The fries are probably the most. Do you know the process of the fries? I'm gonna tell you the process of the fries. So this is what I heard. So basically, it's not even potatoes, my nigga. I don't even know what they are. Cut them into the fries. It's emerged with this specific chemical. These motherfuckers have to put hazmat suits on to even touch these potatoes. Chemicals it will literally kill the human. So what they have to do is they literally put a whole bunch of fries in like a stadium-like you know, big ass thing, and they have to wait for six weeks until all those chemicals air off, and then that's when they can produce them. That niggas is feeding us poison. Fries used to fuck with my stomach the most, y'all. I just hear like, bro, what are fries, bro? I would still get them. Cause I'm just buzzing. So yeah, them fries, bro, and them fries never mold, bro. But I'ma sit here. We gonna watch the video right now, just so y'all can see. I mean, I mean, all right, y'all. Now let me let me let me turn y'all up real quick. Let me turn y'all up. We got my favorite right there, the Big Mac. Everybody love the Big Mac. Where I, put the Big Mac. I don't know about y'all, but I never liked Big Macs. The Big Mac sauce is not valid. That shit is not valid. I like the chickens and McDoubles, but the pickles, bruh. Back right here. I used to be my shit. Not anymore, but I used to be my shit. Chicken McGrill. So there you go. Boy, let me tell you something, the smell of this food, I just want to take a bite out of it already. Exactly, my point. One of the worst things on the whole menu, the filet au fish Look at that thing. <laughs> it still looks terrible. Going right in there. Filet au fish Next, quarter Who, who asked got the filet au fish at McDonald's? I want to know. Pounder. That actually looks like meat. There's the quarter pounder. Mm -hmm. Some fantastic fries. And We're that's just going to dump right in this one. Right there. In that last jar, we're gonna get a hamburger from up the street, from mm. a place where they actually make real hamburgers, where they take the patties and they press them with their own hands and put them on the grill. You know, it's like real meat. And lastly, French fries. Real rice. Restaurant. See what happens at the same time. Two weeks later, let's see. Two weeks, French fries from a regular restaurant. As they Two weeks, French fries from a McDonald's restaurant. I would able. Two weeks, bro. Nothing. There's no, I don't see not one bit of mold on the fries. As other fries should, they should mold. Because they're real potatoes and you leave shit out okay. Where is the mold? All right, I'm sure. Two weeks sweaty, moldy burger in there. Yeah. That burger's all moldy. The flavor is just starting to mold. That's some kind of cheeseburger and the Big Mac. Still nothing. Get Big the Mac. fuck out of here. The Big Mac is still standing. Old. It hasn't even started the mold yet. That's not good. Big Mac still looks like we just bought that thing. Lettuce a little moldy. Chicken McGrill definitely seen some better days. That thing is beat what up. What the fuck is Play that? Fish. Look at that white fuzz on top of it. The quarter pounder. That, that thing's got a rainforest going on inside there. And this burger, same thing. Look, it's starting to get juicy on the bottom. The bun is just like coagulating into some kind of goo. 
Here's the regular French fries. Those things are black and crazy. Want to see what the McDonald's French fries look like? I bet you Check nothing. this out. I bet you absolutely no That's nothing. That's right. Some <laughs> kind of fluke of nature. There just right. are nothing. This can't explain. But this is what you're eating every time you get these fries. Nah. Our intern was so disgusted by the regular burger and fries that he threw them away. Okay, beautiful. He wasn't disgusted by the other five weeks later. Oh, nah, bro. Ooh. That's the Big Mac. That looks good, doesn't it? What mm, the fuck the is best. that? Oh, the chicken McGrill looks fantastic. Bro! What happened? Oh, that's so yummy. Now nah, the Big Mac was like... Of fish. That's very impressive. Oh the quarter pounder really coming to the end of the bro, road. Bro, what the now, you ready hell for the french fries? Is that? You ready? That's the right. The fries have not Look eaten. Look at that, folks. Why are these not breaking down? The fuck? That's a really good question. What did I just tell yeah. you about the fries? What did I just tell y'all about the fries? Nah. You ask yourself, wow, what's that doing in my stomach then? What did I just tell you about these fries? Eight weeks later, I don't even want to see what that shit looks like. Ah, Big Mac, eight weeks. Oh, that shit looks mm, like snow. Chicken McGrill. That shit, even, I think that's the most disgusting. Know what that runny liquid goo is right there? Now we move on to the Bro. delicious fillet of fish. What do we got? <laughs> Eight weeks. Mossy goodness. Look at that fuzzy Bro. little sandwich. Here's the quarter pounder with cheese and the little sweat box that's happening there. Look at that. Looks like the ice age is set in on our quarter pounder with cheese. Bro. McDonald's french fries. So it's now been two months, and look what's happening here. That's Absolutely right. Absolutely fucking nothing. Still nothing. Nah, bro. Last one, ten weeks. Ten weeks on the Big Mac. Frosty goodness. It's frosty. Look at the chicken McGrill. Mmm. Ten weeks. All oh, the filet of fish Ooh, it does it get any better than that? I don't even know what that fuzz on the top is. Week number ten, quarter pounder. Some kind of crazy little like, science experiment happening there. I Look at that. In this what prize. is wrong with that? <laughs> There's not even one little sporozoar on there. There's not nothing breaking down. Nothing. Looks like we bought them yesterday. Wow. After 10 weeks, the smell was so bad, Morgan's not possessing to throw away all the mint chicken sandwich. Wow. How long will they have lasted? Try this experiment for yourself. Bro, I can't do this shit in my crib, though. Hell no. Bro. Bro. I want to see some comments. The message is very clear. If you are what you eat, then McDonald's French fries is the key of the more <laughs> If you are what you eat, the McDonald's French fries is the key to immortality. And you have fries on the most addicting thing in McDonald's. Yeah, I can't imagine the smell either. So you guys saw how disgusting the McDonald's decom decomposition was. And it's just actually horrid to my eyes and to my stomach. So the next one we're actually gonna talk about GMOs, genetically modified food. GMOs, do you hear it in the title? Genetically modified foods, hybrids, things that are not grown from seeds, things that are genetic, that are man touched to me. The epidemic here is worse than previously estimated, much worse. The message that's been pushed on us it's your fault, you're fat. Shouldn't be so hard to get them to run around and play, right? They have voracious appetites and they don't exercise enough. It's about how active our kids are. Right, and no kids Forget are active it. nowadays because guess what? Everybody and their moms get their kids an iPad and nobody want to go fuck out. There are 600,000 food items in America. 80% of them have added sugar. Your brain lights up with sugar just like it does with cocaine or heroin. You're going to become an addict. You end up with one of the great public yes. health. Companies. When I was in LA, I was having a lot of like sugary cake, milkshakes, having sugary treats, over stuffing myself just a tad bit. And the sugar, like it's literally addictive. It's addictive because guess what? I'm still craving it. I still am craving it as much as I don't want to because I do not eat sugar like that. I do not eat processed snacks. Snacks I'm eating is fruits and fruits and nuts and things like that. But after having fun on my trip, I come back and I crave the sugar. And as you can see here, sugar is just like as powerful cocaine. as cocaine. Holy fuck. I think it's the number one most addictive thing.
Wow, sugar is very heroin, addictive. You're going to become an addict. You end up with one of the great public health epidemics of our time. This is the first generation of American children expected to lead shorter lives than their parents. I am 12 years old and my doctors have said that I am a statistic. We're blaming willpower and it's a crime. Over 95% of all Americans will be overweight or obese in two decades. And that's another thing. Naturally, everybody doesn't even want to doesn't want to get out of their com their comfort zone. Everybody gravitates to come to me. Why do you think people get surgeries and things like that when they're fat, etc.? Because they don't want to work out, so they think that you know what I'm saying. But bro, at the end of the day, you have to work out. It feels amazing. Everybody just doesn't want to be uncomfortable. Everybody wants to eat the comfort food, and then guess what? Everybody eats and then fucking goes to bed, and all that food just sits there, and it's not able to decompose. And you got your doctors telling you that you gotta eat three meals a fucking day. On top of that, with snacks, your stomach never has time to fucking decompose the food that you ate two fucking hours ago. Shit. We're toast as a country. The sugar industry is extraordinarily powerful. They're in business to make money, not to keep America healthy. What if our whole approach to this epidemic has been dead wrong? The government is subsidizing the obesity epidemic. To place private profit ahead of public health. Systematic political failure. By 2050, one out of every three Americans will have diabetes. Though Oh my God, 2050, mind you. Because remember, you have to understand everything is long term. That goes for everything. Everything is long term. Not only that, but already now, one out of three humans on Earth are obese. Wow. Those diseases are being driven Lipid by sugar. Strokes, this is the fundamental and problem and nobody's talking sugar. about in society. Woo! We can cure 80% of the problem where they prepare the food in the school. Tomato paste is a vegetable, really? Junk food companies are acting very much like tobacco companies. And then you, say, you give all these kids your, you give all the kids the poison. The poison is in the candies. The poison is in the McDonald's. Everybody after school, let's get McDonald's, pops. Let's get Happy Meals, pops. Let's get candy, pops. Let's get ice cream. Yeah, niggas turn out kids fat to make them feel happy. That's not happiness. 30 That's years ago. I would reject entirely any argument that they are in any way harmful. Lying through their teeth. And he just it's says like, it. This product can be addictive. He told the biggest lie I mean, they will ever hear in their lives. Ronald McDonald never because sell. Like, they'll say that so smallly. It's funny. Look how fucking creepy that looks. They'll say it's so small. Like how these things are addictive, but remember they make all the candies and all the cans and everything attractive to the eye. It's a, it's a color psychology thing. See children I, I read informs and inspires through magic and fun. If a foreign nation were doing that to our children, we would defend our families. Years from now, we're gonna say, I can't believe we let them get away with that. We have to change the diet of America. It's all preventable. We can't change the diet. Yeah, yeah, but it's funny because all those people right there saying we have to change the diet of the Americans, but y'all are the motherfuckers that are doing this in the first place. You know what, everybody? Yeah, y'all got me fed up. Holy ball sacks. I hope y'all learned a lot today. Because I sure did. I sure learned more from what I knew. And all I can say is, wow. The apple was scrumptious, by the way, whoever is asking. It's no surprise. I knew a lot of that stuff already, which is why I don't eat it. But just getting that clarification on those things, it's a little, it's just a little smack. It's a smack to the face because they don't, they don't give an F about our health. Um, conspiracy, you know, conspiracy say they don't give an F about our health. Uh, and it's like, damn. So all I can say is, safe up. Start eating well, bro. Health is wealth, bro. But look at it. You probably got people eating snacks while they watch <laughs> If it was a little too much for you. Drop a like anyways. So I just want to show some, some, some truths. Conspiracies, conspiracies, conspiracies. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Y'all already know. I'm coming hot. I'm coming hot. Part two coming uh, next week. I want to say, sheesh, part two coming like, yeah, part two coming like Tuesday, probably Thursday, probably next week, exactly next week. I hope y'all enjoy. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like this video. Drop a, drop a, drop a, <laughs> I sound like a Mortal Kombat character. Drop a like, drop a comment on your thoughts about this 
And if you haven't touched the shiny, beautiful red button yet, go ahead and drop that shiny red button. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in part two. Because me. Peace. <laughs>